Hi there guys, we back with you now with another tutorial. Today what are we going to be learning? We are going to be learning how to increase a shape, a polygon. So we have right here, of course, this question is taken from a CXC paper. We have a four sided shape, and, uh, which is a quadrilateral. And we are going to increase this in the ratio of three to five. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create this shape and then I'm going to increase it. It shouldn't take me too long. The shape has two angles that we are familiar with. It has a 45 degree and it has a 60 degree. So I'm going to be using my two set squares, the 45 and the 60 degree. The 45, 45 set square which is here and then my 60, 30 set square. So let's get started. It says line A to B. I'm going to draw a line first. Firstly, just draw a line probably around here so you guys can see. We draw lines and then we always measure after. Right. So my line A to B is 50. So let's get that onto the board. A to B, 50. That's A, that's B. Right. And we know that the distance from B, from A to D, is 40 and it's at 45 degrees. So I'm gonna come here, we draw our 45 degrees. This is 45 degrees because we use a 45, 45 set square. And we know that the distance is 40. So I'm gonna come back here now and measure my distance of 40. So that's in and that's B. Let's move on now. We know that B to C is 65 and they're using a 60 degree. So I'm gonna come here, place my 60 degree set square. All right. And that is 60 degrees here. Okay, and we know that that distance is 65. Just, just put in our 65. And you here. And that's C. So to complete the shape, we just need to connect C to D. So that's our shape there. And just erase some of the unnecessary lines so that we can all see properly. A, B, C, D, that's our shape there. And what we did is we used angles 45, 45, 45 set square, and we use angles 60 on the 60, 30 set square. So, what's the next thing we're gonna do? We're gonna construct a similar figure with the length of the size increase in the ratio three to five. So when we are going to increase something in a ratio of three to five, what does this mean exactly? This means, I'm just gonna darken this before I go on to the next step. What this means is that the figure right now is, in, is at state three, and we are gonna increase it from state three to state five. So we need to divide a line into five pieces because ultimately we are going to finish at the fifth point. But we need to put the shape to the third piece. So let's see how we're going to move from there now. We're going to be using an old construction line technique whereas I'm going to pull a line, a point from A off A below A. So this is our construction line. I'm going to label it. Seeing that we don't have much time, I'm going to call it CL. Construction line, and let's call it CL1. Now, yeah, for construction line. So I just um, shorten it by calling it CL. Construction line, and this is our first one. We're going to have several construction lines. Now, we want on this construction line, five pieces equal. So I take my compass, open it to a random random size. I think this is good enough. And then I'm just going to create five divisions on this line. So that's one division, two, three, four, five. Hope you guys can see that. My five divisions, I'm just gonna label them. 
One, two, three, four, five. Like I said again, the shit is now at state three. But we have to move it from state three to state five. So what does that mean, being at state three? That means A to B is connected to three. So I'm gonna come here and connect point three to B. I'm not going to move my set square. I'm going to place another set square behind and I'm going to track. This is a technique called tracking. I'm going to track from point 3 all the way to point 5. I'm grabbing this line and making it parallel here. So I just go over that. We correspond 3 to B. Place a set square behind. And we just slide this down. And we actually correspond a line from 5 to the base line. And this now will be our new B point. This will be B prime. Don't forget we are increasing our shape. You see? These two points, these two lines here, 3 to B and 5 to B prime, are parallel lines. What I'm going to do is extend the base line so that you guys can see. So this is our new B point here, which is called B prime, or B with a one next to it. Now we're gonna be adding other construction lines. The construction line is gonna, once again, all of our construction lines start at A. The extension of the baseline can also be seen as a construction line. So this could be CL2. A going through point C and extended can be seen as CL3 CL3 and A going through D and that point going further off can be seen as CL4 CL CL4 right, so we have construction line 1 construction line 2 construction line 3 and construction line four okay so what are we going to do now with these points we are actually going to trap we're going to parallel trap so we know we have the distance of b to c and we have this line here so what i'm doing is have this one set square and correspond b to c Place the second set square behind. This is called the permanent. This doesn't move. This is the trap. This moves. So I'm going to place my hand here on the permanent and slide from BC to B to B prime. And in doing that, I'm going to draw a line from B prime prime all the way to the construction line C three. So this is our new C point, which is called C prime, which is also parallel, parallel, parallel. And as if you're following this, the next step is going to go down like that. So, so that I can finish off this shape, I'm going to align C to D and create this reference line and do the same thing like I did from B to C. I have my permanent which doesn't move and then this is my trap. So I come to the point C prime and I correspond the line which is parallel to DC all the way down to the D line and it forms a new point which is called D prime. So folks this is what we have here. This is our shape that has been increased in the ratio of 3 to 5. A does not move. A always remains at this same point. So this is the shape A to B prime, B prime to C prime, C prime to D prime. This is our new shape which has been increased in the ratio of 3 to 5. I hope you guys were able to understand and follow me. And you need to practice on your tracking. I find that tracking is the hardest thing for my students to, to master. 
parallel tracking, but it's necessary in trying to achieve solutioning of this problem. So there we have it folks, how to increase a polygon in the ratio of 3 to 5. Before we just close off, I'm just going to darken my increased shape so that you guys at home can see it clear. I think that's it.